chromosome walking chromosome walking is another technique that can be used for the screening of uh, libraries if you remember we have discussed about the advantage of random DNA fragmentation that if we will digest the genomic DNA randomly what will happen is that overlap DNA fragments will be produced and these overlap DNA fragments uh, they can be used for the detection of neighboring fragments because uh, these random fragments they can overlap with each other their ends will overlap and one of the fragment it can be used to detect the next fragment by a technique which is called as chromosome uh, walking in addition to that we can say that chromosome walking it is used uh, to uh, detect the gene whose expression or whose function it is uh, not well known but its genetic location is known and this technique it is called as positional walking where we are going to detect those genes whose uh, function is unknown but location is known uh, so for this purpose as I told you that we must have uh, random DNA fragment in order to produce uh, a library and one of the fragment it can be used as a starting point or it can be used as a probe so that next contiguous DNA fragment will be detected why next contiguous or neighboring DNA fragment is detected because in random DNA libraries the ends of the fragments they will overlap with each other so that one fragment it can be used as a probe for the detection of next DNA fragments so that uh, in this way we can move along the whole length of the chromosome and this technique it is called as uh, chromosome walking for example if we have a very large DNA fragment that contain number of genes or is in genes ko A, B, C, D, E and so on kaha ja sakta hai to is mein hum kya karenge ki iski hum digestion karenge with uh, appropriate endonuclease like EQR1 to jo first fragment hai like gene A ka usko clone karenge bacteriophage lambda mein taaki humare paas probe aa jaye aur us probe ko hum use karenge जो नेक्स्ट डीएनए फ्रेगमेंट है उसको डिटेक्ट करने में जब नेक्स्ट डीएनए फ्रेगमेंट डिटेक्ट होगा तो उसके एंड को हम यूज करेंगे जो सेकंड लैम्डा क्लोन है उसको डिटेक्ट करने में तो इस तरह से जो नेक्स्ट फ्रेगमेंट का एंड है उसको हम यूज करेंगे एज अ प्रोब सो दैट वी कैन मूव अलोंग द लेंथ ऑफ क्रोमोसोम एंड दिस टेक्निक इट इज कॉल्ड एज क्रोमोसोम वॉकिंग इट मे बी एक्सप्लेन्ड with the help of a diagram later on uh, but in case of uh, human genome the starting point may be uh, a fragment which called as uh, uh, restriction fragment length polymorphism that may be closely related to some uh, diseased uh, uh, locus so there are some genes that may be related to certain diseases uh, they can be used as a starting point for the detection of next clone now it can be explained with the help of diagram here we have eukaryotic DNA that may be around 80 kilobase in length and it contain different type of genes like A capital A small B B C C small D D E and E and these genes can be digested into different fragments with the help of EQR1 enzyme and these fragments they can then be ligated within the arms of bacteriophage lambda and then the first fragment like that corresponding to gene A it can be used to detect the next fragment like it can be used to detect the fragment of A small and then A small fragment it is subcloned to detect the next fragment or the gene which is called as the B and in this way the B it is used to clone the C and C probe it is used to clone D so in this way 
because of the random DNA fragments that will be produced, they will have overlap ends and the overlap ends can be used as a probe for the detection of uh, next DNA fragments. And this technique it is called as chromosome walking. Next diagram it is more simplified. So this diagram also indicated chromosome walking where we can detect overlap DNA fragments. So suppose this is a DNA fragment here and this is our target gene and how we can uh, go towards our target gene. So this is the first clone that have overlap ends with the next clone. First clone it is used to detect the second clone and then second clone it has overlap ends with next DNA fragment. So, so in this way the next DNA fragment because of its overlapping ends it can be used as a probe to detect the next fragment. So in this way we can move along the whole length of the chromosome and because of this reason this technique it is called as chromosome walking. One drawback of chromosome walk, uh, walking may be that here the repetitive DNA must not be present elsewhere in the genome because if repetitive DNA is present so uh, the detection may be confusing uh, and this technique of chromosome walking it has extensively used uh, for the detection of different uh, uh, genes in drosophila because in drosophila the repetitive DNA segments they are not prevalent when we compare it with higher organisms.